parts of Baltimore City also underwater. And while the storm moved through quickly, not everyone is drying out tonight. Rachel Cardin continues our team coverage from Northeast Baltimore, where one neighborhood has to battle flooding even with passing thunderstorms. Rachel. That's right, Rick. The neighborhood that I'm in, it's called a seed mot. Now, the man whose backyard I'm standing in says, even if we get a short rain spell, his backyard floods. We can show you um, it's still pretty wet out here, even though Isaias moved out of the area rather quickly. We still have some standing water. He says he's very grateful that the storm didn't stall over his neighborhood because his entire backyard would have looked like a lake. It's been very stressful for me and my family. Mitchell Dean has I'm tried everything in the book. Anyone. Anything over an inch, I started to discover that the rain situation was getting worse. As the track of tropical storm Isaias showed Baltimore in its path, Dean started to plan. I have three sump pumps to try to alleviate the flooding because there is no outlet for any of the storm water. He, along with hundreds of other Baltimoreans, went to Fells Point Monday to get sandbags, hoping to hold the water off. That this has actually been my personal elegant city. In Fells Point, people waded into deep water, and along Jones Falls, the water rushed towards the inner harbor, taking down shrubs in its path. Those who work at Clipper Mill waited with anticipation to see if the lot would flood like it has in storms past. The barricades are put up just for flood protection. Uh, they built some walls here to also protect it. Uh, in the past, you know, water would definitely cross the building and you know, cars need to be evacuated and things like that. As the storm moved through, those who dread the rain are grateful to see the sun. Today, I just thank God that this storm was able to pass by as fast as it did. Dean says he has reached out to the city in years past, but today he called his local council person to see if he can get some help. He said again, he's been battling this issue for more than a decade. He says he's hoping the city can either put an easement or other structural change on the property to help drain the water away from his house. We're live in Northeast Baltimore. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.